Mari, PG Department of Mathematics, KFR College of Arts and Science for Women. Now let us see Unit 5 of Probability Theory, Theory Limit Theorems. First we see the definition of stochastic in, in converges. The sequence x1 of random variables is, to, is called sto, stochastically convergent to 0. If for every epsilon greater than 0, the relation limit n tends to infinity probability of modulus x1 greater than epsilon equal to 0. Next we see the Bernoulli's law, law of large numbers. The sequence of random variables xn given by probability of yn equal to r by n equal to ncr p power r 1 minus p whole power n minus r where p lies between 0 to 1 and r can take on the value 0, 1 to etc. n. Denote xn equal to yn minus p is stochastically convergent to 0 that for any that for any epsilon greater than 0 we have limit n tends to infinity probability of modulus x1 greater than epsilon equal to 0. Next we see the limit distribution function. The sequence f1 of x of a distribution function of the random variable x, x1 is convergent if the if there exists a distribution function f of x such that at every continuity point of f of x, the relation log n tends to infinity, f n of x limit n tends to infinity, f n of x equal to f of x is satisfied. The distribution function f of x is called the limit distribution function. Next we see the convergence in distribution. Suppose that x n, x n or sequence x n are identically independent random variables with f n of x where x is a random variable with f of x if for all continuous points of f n f of x we have limit n tends to infinity f of x equal to f of x is set to is set that x n convergent to x of a of uh, to x in distribution and then and it is denoted by x n tends to x next we see the central limit theorem let x1, x2, etc. x1 be a sequence of independent and identically distributed random variable, each having the same finite mean mu and the same finite variance sigma square, then the distribution of x1 plus x2 plus etc. x1 minus n mu by sigma into root root mu root n tends to the standard normal as n tends to infinity. That is for all real numbers. A probability of x1, x2, etc., x1 minus n mu by sigma into root n less than or equal to a tends to phi of a as n tends to infinity, where phi is, is the uh, cumulative distribution function for the standard normal distribution. A, an application of central limit theorem, uh, we have seen the pro following problem. Let x, xi equal, i equal to 1 to etc. 10 be independent random variables each each are uniformly distributed over 0, 0,1. Calculate an approximation to probability of summation i equal to 1 to n xi greater than 6. We, we have, since we have expectation of xi equal to 1 by 2 and variance equal to 1 by 2, we have probability of summation xi greater than 6 equal to 1 minus phi of root 1 by 2 approximate to 0 0.1367. Next, we see the important theorem, De Morvi Laplace Central Limit Theorem. Suppose that is that n follow binomial distribution with parameter n uh, and then limit n tends to infinity probability of is that n minus n p by root n, n p into 1 minus p, uh, 1 minus p less than or equal to x equal to integral minus infinity to x uh, into 1 by root 2 pi e, e power minus e power t square by 2 into dt equal to phi of x. Uh, for that we have the we have the following proof let is that n equal to summation x k k x k follows binomial distribution x, we uh, next we have to find the expectation of x x k as p and uh, this d of x k equal to p into 1 minus p uh, then find the limit we have uh, uh, limit we have phi of x next we the levi lindbergh Central limit theorem. Suppose that x1 are identically independent random variables with mean mu and variance sigma square. Then x, uh, sequence x1 follows central limit theorem, which also means that probability of xi less than or equal to x is approximately phi of x minus n mu by root n, n, sig, uh, n into sigma. The strong law of large numbers is that is 
every theorem about convergence almost surely the arithmetical mean to a constant next we see the important theorem Colum uh, colmo group theorem let x1 be a sequence of independent random variables such that a variance of x1 less than infinity and bn be a increasing sequence of positive real numbers divergent to plus infinity and then and then uh, and we have summation variance of x y by b square less than infinity then limit s n minus e s n by a n equal to 0 almost surely in particular we can take a n equal to n uh, then we see Kolmogorov's st strong law of large numbers if x n is a sequence of independent random variables and identically distributed and the expectation of modulus x1 less than infinity then limit tends limit tends to sn equal to e of x1 almost surely thank you